Welcome back. Today, I am going to give you a quick recap for a movie named, Fast X. The movie begins with Reyes lecturing his son, Dante. He says there is nothing a father would not do for his son, but his mother looks at him as a monster, and he sees potential in him. He teaches him that when a bully takes money from him, he should take his eye, and when they call him crazy, he should cut their tongues. He calls his son here to pass on his legacy. He informs him that Dominic Toretto wants his money, and he wants him to make Toretto suffer. Dom and Brian initiate an operation to steal the fortune of drug lord Hernan Reyes. Dom and his crew were indicted by Reyes on murder charges against DEA agents. They are planning this mission as a form of revenge from Reyes. The team decided to make up a heist that would rob Reyes of the entirety of his riches, which he had placed in a security vault inside a police station. Dante, who was present at the moment at the same police station when the heist was about to happen but he had no better choice at hand. Dom and Brian used the Dodge Charger police cars they had stolen to drag the entire vault out of the building and they moved it across the town, leading to a chase by police and separately by Reyes and Dante. As Dom managed to break his trail by swinging the attached vault across the road, Dante's car got hit, and Dante was thrown into the water below, getting knocked out in the process and almost drowning. Reyes' car also got hit by vault, and he died. Dante would later gain consciousness again from a near-death situation and find out that his father had died, with their entire family fortune gone. The incident that changed his destiny forever will make him hell-bent on obsessively investigating Dom and his family since then, planning a horrifying revenge. In present-day Los Angeles, Dom and Letty are living a peaceful, normal life with their son, Brian Marcos. Dom teaches him the basics of driving and how to run the car at speed. The extended family's bond is stronger than ever, and Roman, Tej, Han, and Ramsey are living their best lives by profiting from the agency's contracts. Breakfast in the garden at the dining table with the entire extended family present, with Dom's mother Abuelita joining to say grace before the meal, describes the quiet, blissful state as well as the importance of the family itself. Dom, on the other hand, is concerned about his son, wife, and the rest of the family, which he shares with Letty. After some time, the criminal mastermind Cypher emerges in an injured state at the doorstep of the Toretto home. He gets infuriated after seeing her and remembers that she killed Eliana. He was not willing to take her in but on her request he takes her in. She warns them of Dante, who has kidnapped the families of her guards and turned them against her. He has taken her entire operative unit and technology and is coming after Dom and his family. She fights with all of them and succeeds in escaping. The reason Cypher bothered to come and tell Dom about this is that Dom is an enemy of Dante, and Dante is an enemy of her, so she wants Dom to help her. She informs him that the war is coming and sides are being chosen. Dom and Mia let the current chief of the secretive government organization, who is their ally, know about Cypher and Dante's revenge. Little nobody arrested Cypher first. The officer asks them about other family members, and Dom tells him they are in Rome for agency's mission, but he confirms that there is currently no mission. They find out it was a trap set up by the enemy. They start searching for them but fail to establish communication with them. Dom and Mia race against time to intercept the heist situation. They soon discover that the heist Roman and others have planned on a military truck including a primed bomb which Dante plans to explode in the Vatican City in Rome. He is remotely controlling the truck, and Tej and Ramsey are inside the truck. Dante starts exploding the bombs fixed in cars one by one. All attempts to stop the bomb from exploding in the city Liddy on the bike and Dom in his car start pushing the bomb in the direction of the river. Police followed Dom and Liddy but they managed to dodge their attack. The bomb was about to explode on land when Dom managed to make a last-minute maneuver with his car, knocking the bomb into the water, which reduced the impact somewhat and nullified casualties. However, the devastation is massive, and the apparent act of terrorism makes Dom and his family a target. Roman and others escape through underground tunnels and, later, freight containers to reach London, but Letty is apprehended by the authority while pursuing Dante. The media broadcast shows a picture of Dom's family as terrorists involved in the blast. Little Nobody explains the details about Dom's group to Tess, including how they play with cars and break the laws. They also killed Reyes, and in their missions, there were many casualties. 
In 2011, Mr. Nobody hired them after seeing so much potential, and after that, they ran missions for them in Abu Dhabi, Tokyo, London, New York, etc. Mr. Dom's team has successfully assisted the agency in fending off several world-ending threats, and in exchange, they have received protection, wealth, and other necessities. Nobody was also respected by Little Nobody, who commanded in Mr. Nobody's absence. Now that Little Nobody is out of action, the current chief of the agency, Amaze, is trying to bring Dom and his team to justice. He considered them criminals because they caused deaths and stole so much money. Mr. Nobody's daughter, Tess, has allegiance to Dom's crew. She asks Amaze to reconsider his course of action because they are working for their organization. She goes off on her own to warn Dom. Dom meets Queenie Shaw and requests that she arrange a meeting with Mr. Nobody. Next day Tess meets him in Naples instead of her father. She warns Dom of the changed loyalty of the agency and the fact that they will seek to hunt down Dom's family as well. Tess had also managed to steal the agency's ultimate surveillance device and informed Dom of Dante's connection with Rio. Dom asks Tess to keep an eye out for Letty before they part ways. The agency attempted to abduct Dom's sister Mia and his son Brian from the Toretto household. However, a timely interception by Jacob, Dom's brother, whom he had informed about an imminent attack, fails that plan and fights with agency's men. On the other hand, under Amaze's command, Letty gets imprisoned at one of the agency's black sites, and as per Dom's request, Tess visits her to allow her escape, Tess injures Letty, which would cause her to get admitted to the less surveyed medical station, and goes off again to assist Dom. After waking up at the medical station, Letty discovers Cypher Thiet, who uses her technology to free themselves and develops an escape plan. The ladies, however, can no longer keep themselves to themselves and engage in a dangerous fight and are about to kill each other when Letty discovers they have been imprisoned in Antarctica, she agrees to seek assistance from Cypher, and the two attempt to go outside together. According to Dom's instructions, Jacob decides to bring Brian with him to develop an uncle-nephew bond en route. Mia goes on a different route. Roman and the team find themselves bankrupt as Dante has hacked their finances, except Roman. They take help from one of Ramsey's hacker associates in London, which proves futile. Han decides to visit his old foe, Deckard Shaw, for assistance while they are in London, which goes well after a bunch of agency operatives arrive there as well. Shaw decides to help the bunch with artillery and transport, and after knowing all of Dom's past associates are in danger, including his mother, Queenie, he sets off on his own to dig some graves. Dom decides to visit Rio after receiving Tess information and meets Dante in person, who shares the motivation behind his pursuit of vengeance. Dante feels that while pulling off a stunt by stealing Hernan's fortune, Dom robbed him of his family in the future, and therefore he should be paid in kind as well. At that moment, instead of settling things between them through violence and bloodshed, they come to a deal to race to assert dominance, and among the participants are Diogo, one of Dom's ardent followers, and Isabel, who strikes Dom as someone familiar. During the race, Dom realizes that Dante has rigged the NAS systems of the other two cars as a cruel way to present Dom with the dilemma of choosing to save either of their lives, and Dom ends up saving Isabel at the cost of Diogo's death. Dom gets to know that Isabel is his deceased ex-girlfriend Elena's sister. He goes to her home and they talk about Elena who died at the hands of Cypher. Dom sees files there and going through Elena's files, he gets information about a police station being a location of interest for Dante. At the police station, which is the same place where Dom and Brian stole Rea's vault all those years ago. Dom finds an elaborate visual reminder set up by Dante, who calls Dom and keeps on encouraging him and threatening his family. Meanwhile, Amaze, who had been tracking Dom using test location, catches up to him, and Dom surrenders without any hesitation. Dante attacks the car on the same highway where Dom's vault attack nearly killed him but finds himself surrounded by Dom, Amaze, and Tess. Dom starts pummeling Dante in anger, but Dante gains the upper hand in a moment as a sniper shoots Amaze, and Dante brings out Isabella as a hostage. Dom is forced to retreat to save Isabella, and Dante takes the tracking device from Tess. Dante leaves after finding the best definitive chance of tracking down Dom's son and exacting perfect revenge. Dom entrusts an injured Tess with Isabella. Amaze, who has no major injury, decides to change his approach toward Dom and his family and agrees to help him bring down Dante. Elsewhere, Roman and other members board a cargo aircraft to reach Dom and Jacob and Brian arrive at the rendezvous point in Portugal, but they find themselves surrounded by Dante's forces. 
They make a run in Jacob's cannon car. They are quickly reunited with Dom, who jumps off a maze agency flight in his muscle car and lands on the pursuing vehicle. The trio will make it through. Brian goes to the back of the car to check the missile fixed on it, but Dante captures Brian from Jacob and prompts both him and Dom to chase him. Seeing another oncoming convoy that will surely block their path unless it is taken care of, Jacob decides to sacrifice his life for the greater good and bids his brother farewell. Jacob destroys his car by setting it on fire and sacrifices himself in the process by using his car's cannon modifications. Dom rescues Brian by performing a desperate and unthinkable move and catching his son in midair. Amaze tells him he will be landing nearby and sends Dom his location for access. Dom feels relief, but it is short-lived when he finds himself surrounded in a narrow stretch, encircled by two semi-trailer trucks from each side. This is happening on the river dam exactly as Dante wanted them to be positioned. Dante presents another surprise to Dom. The cargo plane carrying Roman and his team appears on the horizon. Roman is happy after seeing Dom, but Dom realizes that it was all part of a trap. Before Dom alerts Roman of it, a missile is launched at their aircraft by Amaze. Amaze betrayed them because he was loyal to Reyes. The flashback appears, where it is revealed that Amaze was Reyes' business partner and was present all those years ago during Dom's heist. The aircraft crashes behind them, leaving the question of the fates of Roman, Han, Tej, and Ramsey dangling. With the trucks approaching from both sides, Dom decides to drive right into the lower side of the dam and somehow manages to keep himself and his son unharmed from the fiery explosion caused by the collision behind. However, once again, an extended part of Dante's plan puts them in danger as he demolishes the dam above Dom and Brian. On the other hand, Letty and Cypher are venturing further into Antarctica when a submarine appears, and from it, a familiar face emerges as a delightful surprise. Giselle Yesher, the ex-assassin, was a longtime member of Dom's family. In the end, a team of tactical forces breaks into the mansion of Reyes, where a similar visual setup is arranged by Dante, who threatens one of the members of the force about exacting his revenge on him. The agent is revealed to be Lucas Hobbs, the burly manhunter, who was not only a key part of the organization but also initially opposed but later joined hands with Dom to take down Reyes' empire. Although Dom and his crew were responsible for financially weakening Reyes, it was Hobbs who killed Reyes as a form of revenge for the deaths of his comrades at the hands of Reyes' henchmen. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe.